Hey guys, this is Torner, and it looks like Magic accidentally leaked some stuff. Um, yeah, I, I don't exactly understand what's going on here. Uh, so, if you'll notice at the end of the articles, they sometimes will have, you know, this is what's coming, like the products that are coming. So, if we have a look at the Outlaws at Thunder Junction, you notice they don't do this. In fact, they uh, they specifically do not have any of this in here. However, they managed to do it with both the uh, Modern Horizons 3 and Bloomborough. So they've kind of leaked their upcoming um, like pre-cons. This is crazy. Uh, so first of all, we'll have a look at the Modern Horizons stuff. So we've got Ajani here being like the main kind of face of it. Um, I am not sure who this is. I'm not sure who this is, but that looks freaking amazing. And like Lion Mount. Uh, we've got obviously, you know, hints at Eldrazi kind of stuff here. We've got Ajani here again, Tamio. And then we've got the upcoming pre-cons. So these are our commander pre-cons. There's going to be two different versions that looks like a collector's edition and a normal one. I really hope they don't start doing this. Um, the collector's edition ones, I believe they did with the Warhammer 40k stuff, but yeah. So this is going to be a black, red, green graveyard overdrive. So this is going to be based around filling your graveyard and then avenging the dead. So maybe stuff to do with like, you know, if you've got XYZ stuff in your graveyard, then do this. Or it doesn't say anything about, you know, resurrecting them or anything like that this time around. So who knows what exactly that is going to be. We've got this one here, Tricky Terrain. This is like, this looks like Helm of the Host here. Ramp lands, grow value. That's about as Simic as Simic gets. <laughs> That's about as Simic as Simic gets. So yeah, this looks like Helm of the Host, create tokens, these kind of stuff there. Um, ramp lands, grow value. The Simic one's just a meme nowadays. This one here is an energy precon. Creative energy. Why is this black, red, green? I feel like these were like early versions of them potentially, or at least this one here doesn't seem like it's proper because the one energy spell they showed off was red, white. I feel like this is meant to be Jess guy, like red, white, blue. Uh, energy counters with powerful payoffs, or there's just gonna be energy across all sets. Who knows? And then finally, we've got a six cost, like six mana um, Eldrazi one. Start small Eldrazi smash. So we've got, you know, this is a, this is insane. That's a that's a very nice precon. Um, I'll be very interested to see what the mana base on this precon looks like. These kind of remind me of the Commander Masters ones, though. They're probably going to be like that kind of price, unfortunately. Uh, but the more interesting ones is Bloomborough. They leaked Bloomborough as well, uh, which is hilarious because, you know, this stuff, I have like 5% chance that this is meant to be shown, especially because Outlaws of Thunder Junction does not have this stuff down the bottom. So we've got the set art here with a big, you know, eagle-y kind of thing coming against our heroes. We've got the collector boosters, a frog knight and a raccoon bard kind of looking dude. He looks like he's got like a, a like guitar on his back. We've got uh, the, uh, what is it, Raz? Here with the otter people. We've got the Bloomborough pre-release bundle. And then here we go. We've got the uh, pre con So we've got like a make trash do smash. So a green one, a red green animated army. It's called. So I assume we're going to like animate artifacts or something like that. Maybe I'm not sure this one here though. Jess guy family matters make offspring go wide. Are we going to be breeding our, <laughs> are we breeding our guys like a, a little our furry guys? Like what are we doing here? Make offspring go wide in Jess guy. All right. We've got peace offering a group hug deck with 
plus one, plus one counters in uh, green, white, blue. And then finally, we've got Squirreled Away, which is black, green, with a, like, Necromancer Squirrel here, Horde Tokens, and then Squirrels. It just says Horde Tokens Squirrels. And then we've also got a starter one. Ooh, a starter kit. We've got Burke, Long Ear of the Law, and a Rabbit Soldier. When he enters, put a plus one, plus one on up to two target creatures. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it, attacks, do something. Oh, it's right here. Uh, double the amount of plus one, plus ones on it. This is like freaking, what's his name? And then we've got Bria, Riptide Rogue, an Otter Rogue with Prowess. Other creatures you control have Prowess. And then creatures you control, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, target creature you control can't be blocked. I will be very interested if this stuff stays up here. Either way, we've got our first look at Modern Horizons precons and first look at Bloomborough precons as well. Breeding. <laughs> what? Make offspring. Does this mean if I have two rabbits out, do I then get to add like 10 rabbit tokens? Is that how that works? Also, three legendary traditional foils. They all have three legendary traditional foils rather than the, like, you know, base two. All right. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. This is huge. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful day and goodbye.